Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In today's video, I will show you how you can enable guest posting on your WordPress website absolutely for free. So, if you have a WordPress website and you want to enable guest posting where people can come up on your website, they can submit a post and you can preview the post and then you can publish that post. And why we need guest posting is because this is very very useful for Google SEO and Google ranking. Your website will get ranked if you have multiple posts on a daily basis and the user who submitted the post will get bang links to their website if necessary. So this is beneficial for both of you. Now this is a long topic to discuss everything about guest posting. Let me just show you how you can enable this on your website and then how people can submit a post and how you can preview that. We will just display a form to user where they can submit their post and that's it. The first thing is you can just go to your dashboard and then go to plugins and click add new. And here search for guest post and you will see this plugin user submitted post. You just need to install and activate this. Once you activate the plugin you will find this under settings and here you can see submitted post. And here we have a number of settings like the form fields where you can design the form. Like you can display the form fields that you need a username, email, URL and so on. You can enable and disable these based on your need. Let's say you don't need username so I can just disable this. And this is enabled but not required and this is enabled and required. Required means user must have to fill this field. Now you can change these based on your needs. This is very simple. And this is the first title so make sure you enable this one. Then first category, first content and so on. And these are some custom fields. So if you need additional information you can just enable these fields also. This is a challenge question so this works like Google Recaptcha. We also have Google Recaptcha option but for that we will need API keys. If you need a simple captcha, you can just enable this one. And uh, I'll show you how this will look. This is image upload so you can just enable this so that user can upload their images. And then you can go to general settings. And this is the form style so HTML5 and CSS is recommended and this is fine. And include JavaScript so you can just include this. And force type so here you can choose force or page but force is recommended because we need posts. And this is the force status so if a user submit a post then how you want it. If you want to keep it and drop you can select this one. You can choose pending, you can publish that automatically and so on. So these options are dependent on you. Let's choose pending because we will review the post and then we will publish that if there were no issues. And redirect user after force submit, leave it blank if you want to stay that on a current page. So let's leave this. This is the success message. So if a user submit a post successfully, this message will be displayed. This is the error message. There was an error. Please check your required fields. So you can change these messages also. Then custom content. You can also display some custom messages here. Rich text editor. If you enable this, then user will get a rich editor where they can stylize their text like they can make this bold, align, you can change the font and so on. Let's just enable this. And this is the unique titles. So if you enable this, then people will have to fill unique titles. This is also good. Then some user settings. And here you can assign author to the guest posts. So if a user submit a post, then who will be the author? You can just go through these options. They are pretty much clear. And you can enable and disable these based on your needs. And under email, who will receive email notification after the user submitted a post? So you can put up your email here and you will get a notification. Then categories and tags. So you can show categories to the user, you can show multiple categories and so on. And this is a custom field that we saw earlier, you can just rename this. And you can write a name for which you want to collect the data. Let's say I need date of birth, so I can write date of birth. This is just for example. Same goes for this one. Then custom checkbox. Display checkbox. So if you want, you can enable and disable this. This is for the agreement. Challenge question and this is the recapture that I talked about earlier. You can display recapture like this and user will have to respond according to that. We will see this on live website also. And as I said for Google recapture you will need the public key and private key. So if you want to enable recapture you will need these two keys. And featured image so you can use these as featured images if a user upload an image. And this is a good option. And default feature image. If a user doesn't upload any image, you can upload your own image here and that will go for all the guest posts. Upload image, please select your images to upload. You can change this message like and that's fine because we need only one image from user. 
and these are some minimum height and width for the images and these are the maximum videos so you can change these if you need specific sized images and front end display so how your form will look and we will see this on live website so we don't need to discuss all these and let's save our changes and now let's see how we can display this form so let's scroll down and go to display form and here you can display submit user form you can display login and register you can display user submitted post and so on so let's display the form first we will need this short code so let's copy this now we can put this short code in any page builder or the normal Gutenberg let's see how let's go to pages we will add a new page and I'll call this guest post in order to put a short code you can click on this plus then search for short code and paste that short code then just publish the page now let's view this and this is the guest post form as I said user will have to fill up these details like the name, URL, post title, post tags, this is the recapture, these are the post content and this is the rich text editor that I was talking about where user can make style changes to their text like bold, italic, bullets and so on. Then this is the featured image, upload a featured image and submit post. Let's try one so name and for the URL and put my URL and the first title this is just to show you and first text so if I leave this this is optional and this is the question so I'll write to please select a category now these are the post categories I only have this one but you will see all the post categories and I'll write some content here and let's upload an image I'll just use this one and that's it now we can submit this and you can see success thank you for your submission and as i said you can also change this success message now let's go to our dashboard we'll go to post and here you can see the post title this is the one that i just submitted and the status is pending this is not live if we want we can just edit this and if there were some issues and the text that is not required we can just remove that text as an admin and we can see the submitted name the submitted url the ip address and so on and in the post we can also see the featured image that I just uploaded now if this is ok I can just publish this and this will be published on my website and this is how guest posting work now if you want to enable login and registration for this guest posting you can go to login and registration and you can display a login form and you can also copy this and you can display this on any page and same goes for this one display submitted post if you want only to display those submitted post on a specific page you can copy this short code and you can display this on any page let's copy this and let me show you how you can display a short code on any page like elementor page builder so let's go to pages and i'll add a new one and we'll call this let's say submitted posts then we'll publish this and we'll edit this with elementor now you can do settings for this page let me just make this full width and I search for short code here and then we'll paste that short code and here I'll see all the guest posts if you want to display the form in the elementary page builder you can use the previous short code let's see again short code and uh, I'll use the previous one which was this one and this will display the form and why elementor is because you can style the section like you can give this some spacing you can give this background colors and so on let's give this some padding to show you and uh, we'll also give this section some background like this so in Elementor you can style your page. Ok so this is how you can enable guest posting on your WordPress website absolutely for free. You just need to install this plugin then you can just put a form on the page and user will be able to submit a post. Now if you want to display this page in your menu, you can add this page to your menu and for that you can go back to your dashboard. Let's exit this and this is the page which has guest post. I'll call this submit a post 
Now let's add this to our menu. So I'll go to menus under appearance. And this is our main menu. I need this under this plus. So I'll select this. We'll add this to menu. And I need this right here. We'll save this. Now let's check our website. Under plus we can now submit a post. And this is the form. Okay, so this is how you can enable guest posting on your WordPress website for free. This is wrong, but it's okay. And if you want to learn more about WordPress and Elementor, you can visit my channel. I have lots of videos about WordPress, including complete websites. And still, if you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next.